Chiefs matriarchs, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be taking a break, a short pause, in regards to the presentations of the dance groups, to move into a special interview. This interview will be live feed. CFNR will be interviewing Dr. Joseph Gosnell Sabagat Lech. So I'd like to ask the kindness of all of you if you could keep the noise level to a minimum. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's my distinct honor to, to be sitting here with Smogat Flair, uh, the ambassador of the Nishka Nation, Dr. Joseph Gosnell. Uh, Dr. Joseph, I, what I'd like to talk to you about today is uh, maybe you can tell our listeners uh, on, on CFNR, we're live streaming now and the live audience, uh, it is the 50th anniversary of the Gitlik Damik Ceremonial Dancers, so maybe we can kind of just talk a little bit about the history and what it means to our, our nation and the community of Gitlik Damiks. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor for me to speak about this celebration. LBA. Where did it come from? Where did it originate from? It originated in the community of Kitwin Kit, the next community downriver from where we are. Sometime in the ancient past. Today, this year is the 50th anniversary of the Gitlach Damik Ceremonial Dancers. When my late father, Eli, brought the group together and we practiced in the old community hall. You see that hall when you drive into the community. And the figures in the front of that hall, it's called Medik. Medik. The Medik in our language is a supernatural bear, far more ferocious than the grizzly bear. And that's the name of this community. We are called Git Medik. Git Medik. So here we are, we're celebrating Javier. What you saw happening here a few minutes ago, they're bringing you back in time, a time period before the coming of the Europeans, a time period before the coming of the missionaries, when so many of our languages and cultures began to disappear, and yet we are still here. We're still here. We're not going to go anywhere. Where can we go? This land belongs to us. This land belongs to us. <laughs> to me, when I watch television, what's happening in the province, and I'm sure all of you do the same thing. The battle that's going on in central British Columbia. I have to ask myself, where is our law? What is Canadian law doing to our people? Still trying to hammer us down. I don't care what the government of Canada says, the pre Prime Minister. I don't care what the courts say about our people. They are still trying to justify their presence on unceded indigenous territory. That's what they're still trying to do, to put us back on the floor. We don't belong on the floor. We're people. We stand up. 
we stand up and tell the world who we are. This is who we are, what you see here today. I saw the, the blowing of the swans down. It's called Wilbuch Mishach, a symbol of peace in our nation. A symbol of peace. And so, what I watched here brings me back hundreds of years. This is what happened on the many territories across our land before the coming of the Europeans. And we're still here. Long after everybody else is gone, we're still going to be here. That's what I see. As I watch television, and watch our brothers and sisters, chiefs and matriarchs of the Wet'suwet'en tribe. I want to send a message to these people for standing up and saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, this land does not belong to you. It belongs to us, indigenous people. This message comes from the heart of Niska territory. We admire your courage for standing up to the big companies, the big corporations. What's the matter with our prime minister? Wake up, Justin Trudeau, wake up. You're dealing with our people, and we're not going to go anywhere. Regardless of what you may say on behalf of the government of Canada, the Wet'suwet'en people and the indigenous people of this country are beginning to stand up. Why? Because we have lawyers in the many, many nations, doctors, teachers, people who come out of universities with degrees behind their name, colleges. That's who we are today. We say to you, you cannot walk on our people anymore. You can't do that. Those days are gone, long gone. They should be buried. I'm not a great fan of Canadian history. I know what Canadian history is before Canada became a country. How many of you know that there was a price on the heads of our people? $25 for the head, scalp of a man. $15 for the scalp of a woman. Five dollars for the scalp of teenagers and babies. That's what Canadian history says to me. But regardless of what happened in the past, we're still here, you're still here. You're saying to the world, this is who we are. This is that's what you're saying. This is who we are. The many languages and cultures of our people. We're here to stay. We're not going anywhere. I thank you very much for coming here and help us celebrate Javier. The rising of the crescent moon. In a few days, it's gonna rise over the mountains a signal from the sky, saying to our people, the Oligans have arrived. Many people don't know it, but the moon calls not only the Oligans, calls the salmon. 
and the migration goes on for 12 months of the year on the many territories of our people in British Columbia. I'm so pleased to be here to speak to you. <coughs> it's too bad you have, I have to get a hold. But that's what life is. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> I remember my great, great, great forebears. They're here with us today. They are alive and well. There's something in our nation. <coughs> we don't have a word for goodbye. There's no word for goodbye in our language. When people stand on the open grave site saying farewell to their loved ones, they use the word It means we will see you again. We will see you again and we're going to see you again next year in the birthplace of Habigay, Gitwin Kseh, to Nisam. Thank you. Dr. Joseph Gosnell, thank you very much for that. There's no real way to follow that, but other than thank you for that little glimpse into oral history, and that's what we're all here for. And we look forward to uh, continuing celebrating the Hobie. Thank you for, for your words today. Much appreciated.